and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we'll be talking about creating and deleting nodes from with code of course because you can just go here create some nodes all of that easy peasy but we're going to do that with code today because sometimes you don't want to create the code Im the node immediately you want to bring it in later in the game and not instantly so maybe if the character does something special like enter a cheat code then that can add a node and like make a chest appear or something like that but anyways so i have a, a panel here it is just the size of about this so yeah so in that panel i want to add one node so here i'm just going to say uh, Control a and i'm going to add a button now this button, I'm going to resize it, just a little bit bigger, put it here. I'm going to give it some text and call it add node, because I'm going to add in, I'm going to click it and it's going to add a node. This button, however, I want to rename it, just to make it less confusing later on. So btn add node. If we do that, then now it has been renamed to btn add node. Now here at this node options, we want to add a pressed function. So once it's pressed, we want to do stuff. So here we want to just connect it first. So get node. And inside here, we want to say btn add node. Then we want to say dot connect. And we want to say pressed and self and then on btn node pressed it was very nice to automatically complete it for me and yeah if we go like this then i'll just resize it a bit for you so if you can't see so that has just basically when this when this button is pressed it's going to call this function right here cool now that we have that underway we want to create a variable so i'm going to say variable s and remember variable is just a container it just contains some data now variable s i want to create a new label with it. i'm going to say s is equal to label dot new this will create a new child node or a new label node so it's basically the same as doing this plus and we can say label we can just there it's a label and just drag it until outside maybe if possible yeah i don't think i can put it outside so but the basic is the same as putting it here and then it's like another scene so that's kind of what we're doing now if we were to go here to the script again if we said s or just add child s we don't need these extra things here if we said that then basically it's going to take this label which is actually here outside of the panel and it's going to put it inside of the panel like that so that's basically what we just did so i'm gonna delete it now if you don't understand why i put it inside of the panel it is because it's in the panel script if we wanted to add the node into the button script, we would have had to say get node and btn add node. And in here we can say dot add child s. Then it would have added it as a button child and not as a panel child. But we can get to this in a second. Then we're just going to put some text on label so we can see what's happening. So s is equal to hello world I forgot to say it's not s because that's a label so we have to say s.txt because remember it's label.txt if you want to add something to if I want to add text to a label so if you run it now and you say add node as you can see it says hello world now if you want some proof that this code actually works we can uncomment that and comment this now if we were to run the program then instead of going to add the label here 
it's going to add the label instead of this button because now it's a child of the button. So yeah, now we created a node, but what if you wanted to delete this node? What if you want to get rid of it now that we are done with it? Well, first thing we have to do is we have to add a new button. So button. And of course you don't have to use uh, create a new button if you don't want to, that's just my way of coding. I'm going to call this btn delete node. And I'm going to just click here on the pressed and I'm going to say connect. Now I can just copy this. And I just quick want to go back here to delete. So right there, inspector, and just make sure it says delete node. I'm going to move it downwards and just resize it a bit. And there we go. So now we have a delete node button. Save it. Go to script. So here, instead of saying btn add node, we can say btn delete node. And here we can just copy this, C, and paste it right here. So whenever they click on this button right here, it's going to call this function. And when they call this function, we want s.free to execute. s.free basically instantly removes the node. So if we were to go here, and we can just give it a second, add node, delete node, the node is gone. Take note, however, that this method of doing it is a bit dangerous because just saying free removes that node instantly, which means if we're still busy working with that node in the background and we say it's not free, then while it's working with that node, it's going to delete that node and that's going to cause the game to crash. That's the reason why we don't say it's not free. We actually just say it's not Q. And that will queue the freeing of that node. So if we say add node, delete node, then it still deleted the node, but it's made sure that we are not busy working with that node. We, we're not doing anything with it. Now the reason this variable s has to be here, just like note, because it is outside of the functions, it's because this variable s can then be accessed by both of these functions. If we did this, Just give me a second so I can just fix that. If we did this, then as you can see, it says, hey, there's a problem here. That is because this variable right here is local scope. So now it can only be used inside of this function. That's the reason we do this, to make it global scope so everyone can use it. And that is how we create a node with code in Godot. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and see you all again in the next video.